It's an adrenaline-fueled adventure as the next Mummy movie travels to China. Take a look. It goes where? There's your next blockbuster. Good. Joining us this morning, the film stars Brendan Fraser and Maria Bello. Good morning to both of you. Hey, guys. Morning, Great morning, to morning. see you. So it's a big opening weekend. So you guys have any, like, rituals that you do on opening weekends for big films? I beat myself with olive branches, <laughs> dance around smudge ceremonies. The usual. Yeah, and I've never, even, I've never really been in a big blockbuster, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? Beat myself do, as well? I'll beat you. We can go to the museum and look at mummies if you want. That's a good idea. Yeah. Speaking of looking at mummies, this is the third mummy movie installment. What what is there left to do? Lots. There's always mummies. You can't get rid of these things. They keep <laughs> popping back up, and for some reason or another, the O'Connells have to make them go back to sleep. Rick, in particular, is my character choice all the way through the series was, why is this my job? Why do I have to be the guy to keep putting these guys away? <laughs> but as an actor, I'm delighted. And so you love playing this character. What was it like? Was it infectious being in a big budget film like this and being around Brendan? Did he bring something to it that you were just like, I'm <laughs> so excited to be on this film, meeting up mummy costumes. He, he brought everything to it. I mean, look at him. He's everything that he seems, you know, I close your ears. You know, kind and generous and charming, but also has this manly, manly thing where he, you know, he could take care of you at the end of the world. And, and, and Maria's <laughs> got sass class and a really nice smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, so, Maria, you're playing Brendan's wife in this, Him. and you're taking over the role. This is a little bit like the Darrens on Bewitched, where suddenly there's a new person taking <laughs> over the role. Only much more beautiful than the Darrens on Bewitched. Well, yeah. thank you. Indeed. Um, is that hard to step into a role that's already been played? You know, it wasn't because they were so different, the roles. You know, Rob Cohen said if that role was like Audrey Hepburn as an ingenue, this uh, character was like Catherine Hepburn at 40. So we just tried to play this and create a whole new relationship. This fun reveal. This picture has always been about entertaining its audience. Come see the picture. You'll get a belly gut laugh at that question for sure, I promise you. And there's all kinds of new great things about the picture, too. We've got great cast, Jet Li, Michelle Yell. Jet Li! Incredible See? fights. Jet he's, never, Li. he's never seen the fight well, he and, and Jet you guys do. have, now, are, how, are there real mummies? Did you manage to find real mummies for this one? Are you guys fighting constantly with these, like, CG characters? <laughs> I, I want to know, because I love yeah, mummies. I just the want to know. Way. You did, you mummy, found them up. Mummy, mummy. I was mummy. hoping you did. Um, <laughs> was it tough, like, actually, when you have to act against these, like, incredibly CG, uh, computer-generated characters? Dude, it's what I do. Okay, what can I do? I mean, Come on, I used to get to the principal's office for this kind of behavior. Now they pay me for it. I mean, come on. Uh, look, we're actors. If you believe in what you do, then your audience will, because CGI has come to a place where anything, yeah. anything is possible. As long as you believe in it, then your audience will. But, Maria, you did a lot of your own stunts, we're told. I did. Some of mine That's for hard, me too. right? I did. Well, I always wanted to be Indiana Jones, so and I, and I felt like a 12-year-old at the playground every day. I, I also had Karen an amazing Allen. stunt double, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Know. I didn't. <laughs> George Clooney said that he, he loves doing the big box office films like this so that he can go and, and do some of the, the films that... Uh, that he more can thoughtful, seek his more enlightening. Yeah. Yes. I mean, well, you know, one of my all-time favorite films, and I'm not doing this not just to suck up now. Gods oh, go and ahead. Monsters. I oh, love Gods you. and Monsters. That's one of my favorite. That's the first thing I ever said to you. I appreciate it is. that. And it, nice is it, you get a chance to do these big films because you can also go back and do some of those films, too. It strikes a balance. You know what I mean? Come on. You should diversify your career if you can. You know, it keeps it interesting for you. For yourself, things get tough. Once you start enjoying yourself, it gets a little easier. You know? Clinton, diversify your Stretch career. Stretch and grow. Well, I'm going to be in the this. Mummy 4. I don't know if they told you that. Or not. <laughs> I'll sign you up. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that, folks. You heard it here. <laughs> All right. Brendan Fraser and Maria Bella, great to have you guys here. Oh, Can't wait to see us. it. We love our mummy, and we hope you do, too. <laughs> thanks, guys. I love my mummy. I love my mummy. Would you yummy mummy? I love my mummy.